Developing and building a new expeditionary submarine for the Dutch Navy, replacing the existing Walrus class and keeping the Netherlands at the forefront of naval technology is an important undertaking. This is how Saab and Darman are embracing the challenge by combining the skill and expertise from two sides. The primary construction phase will take place in Kolskirumna, the home of Swedish AIP submarines. Using unique capabilities, steel hulls and subsections for the new Dutch submarine will be produced here. The hull sections are then transported by sea to the Netherlands, where the final assembly is being carried out by Dahlman. This means joining of pressure hull sections, building of complex platforms, and insertion of platforms into the body of the submarine. Verification and validation are carried out in Flissingen. Building submarines requires vast experience and deep knowledge of underwater technology which to a great extent exists already in the Netherlands through decades of engagement with the Walrus-class submarine. While Sweden has a long history of submarine building, entering the market in the early 1900s, with over 70 submarines built, six new submarine designs since the 1960s, and five upgraded submarine classes, Saab is now building the A26 oceanic submarine for the Swedish Navy. Both nations have a similar way of cooperating between the industry, the authorities and the academia. The so-called triple helix structure is one of the cornerstones of both nations' underwater excellence. Risks are reduced as tried and tested ways of production are put into practice. This also means creating cost-efficient ways of production through evolutionary steps and design. Modular design is another cornerstone in Saab and Darman's way of creating submarines. It is key to the design and to being adaptable to the needs of the Dutch Navy. In short, the Walrus Replacement Project is a balanced cooperation between Saab and Darman addressing the best capabilities available in both nations. Both during construction as well as during the entire life cycle, this will involve a large number of actors within the Dutch naval industry.